Glaciers are an iconic part of Canadian heritage. And while we now know they're blinking out at an alarming rate because of climate change, there's still a lot we don't know about them. Apparently, how thick our glaciers actually are. New research led by University of Northern British Columbia scientists supported by PICS found that the glaciers in Canada's Columbia River Basin are on average 38% thicker than previously believed. So if you want to know how a glacier is flowing, you need to know how thick it is because the thickness and the slope together control how glaciers flow down the mountainside. So originally that's what we set out to look at. And then we compared them to some previous model estimates and we weren't surprised that they differ, but we were surprised by how much they differed. I mean, collecting data on our glaciers isn't exactly the easiest. The team used ice penetrating radar to measure ice thickness on five glaciers in BC's Columbia Mountains. And while you might think more ice means they might have more time to stick around, that's not necessarily the case. It's a nice surprise to find out we have a little, uh, little more ice to deal with, but the long-term fate is really uh, has been sealed by us and greenhouse gas emissions. So one of the one of the things we do as glaciologists is much like meteorologists, uh, we go out and we collect real observations. They allow us to better inform and improve models going forward. At current rates of glacier mass loss for this region, studies still show the glaciers will disappear from the basin in 65 to 80 years. If you think about a typical mountain watershed in British Columbia, um, by and large, most of the surface runoff is generated from the winter snow until sort of late summer, at which point those glaciers that, or those watersheds that contain glaciers will start to see sort of the, the runoff from the glaciers themselves starting to supplement that, that flow. And so if the glaciers aren't there, of course, we have a deficit. In Having more detailed observations about the dimensions of our precious but disappearing glaciers means more accurate models about these very important glacier cycles that we all rely on, whether we realize it or not. I, my favorite thing is to be in the mountains. Um, and so it's really special studying them. Uh, I, I, I keep it positive, but it is, it is depressing. I mean, even studying like the glaciers Brian and I have been studying in the Columbia Mountains, it's remarkable how much they've changed just in the six years that I've been studying them. There are certain routes you can't take any longer. There's certain places you used to step on the glacier that now there's a you know, 10, 10 plus meter cliff that you'd have to rappel off to get down to the glacier. So there's, you know, a lot of the changes are very visceral. So rather than blinking out, as we once thought, perhaps our Canadian glaciers are going to go out with a bang, so to speak. The more we know about them, the more we'll miss them. And now you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.